okay just to add some fuel to the fire right um this was the trade i took on s p 500 right using a very very simple time-based peter rate right if i can zoom into this range right right here right we got q2 q1 q2 q3 right our traditional model which was this one the q3 new york micro right in sync with something um i'm gonna be posting after this video so it's like a except something something yeah okay initially this entry was very very specific and very easy right if i can divide this range like this into quarters not thirds there is for a different video right if i can divide it into quarters like this then make a copy and divide also q3 into quarters right let me okay as we divide q3 into quarters like this i can remove the indicator can you see what price begins to reject to react low price was lower so on a lower time frame there's no accumulation manipulation distribution the whole entire cycle on the 22 no it's a way smaller cycle than that 22.5 divided by four quarters that's the, that's the cycle right here right price draws very very high so let me i don't want to forget that specific level so i want to drag this up like this okay if i can hide it like this price begins its re reaction right here right what is it reacting off time based range so this whole entire range right here if i can drag this lower like this this whole entire range right here we utilize that as a pra right so we can call that whatever a time based whatever <laughs> rebalance array or whatnot right so we can say this is a time um time array right a q a q1 time array right now here's the rules with this you want to divide it the same way you divide um your your candlesticks your defined or predefined pd arrays you want to find the consequence encroachment level of the range right then you do not want to see price violate the consequence encroachment right then you can place a stop above so ideally how i wanted to pretty much get involved in the trade was something like this right then seeking sell side which was below like wherever wherever it is down there right so that's pretty much the best way to execute of a pda rate that's not price based that's time based right so i'm basically trading off a range if that makes sense a q1 range within q1 the price draws lower right but now how do i trust why is my entry right here right it was a bit late on the entry price drew lower pretty much had issues with my lots entries then what do we get a price base array right which is a pd array in forms of a break a block forms of a breaker block price draws lower opens below so when it opens below like this i actually also identify that as a as a breaker as a valid breaker the price hovers my execution was just right there with my stop above this range right here the reason why once price reacts off it and leaves it ideally i do not want to see price draw back to it so if my stop was above here i can move it to the consequent encroachment level or the low 
then it's the pay price we acting right okay in the last few videos i've actually left a hint of this of like me basically using time based range time time based ranges right the same way we use flawed ranges and central bank stillest range just right i use that the same way right here you know just for for entries and whatnot but now if you want to refine it and make it uh, a bit more accurate right if you want to really know where is price most likely to react within the range right this is where you resort back to price right there's a time range within it there's a there's a price range right so if i can do this and make a line right here so that we know this is where q3 q q1 ends we have this low right here gonna do it like this we have this low right here right and then we have this volume imbalance and a fair value gap so we combine those into one fixed pdra right so we can just say that this is a cd this is a cd right price reacts off it but in this case price does not even touch it you know this is why more often than not i would utilize the time-based pdra's pdra's right and that's pretty much as simple as that right i'll be going into more details about all these things time and price time and price because everything needs to be in sync with time and this is where the quarterly theory helps you with that right there's a different way in which you can utilize time but i'll also be providing that within the future right one thing at a time <laughs> but yeah hopefully everybody had a good day and yeah stay blessed